Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's Diego here in the Panhandle of Florida, sitting in front of the War Memorial to our veterans here in Santa Rosa County in Milton, Florida. And now what's interesting about Milton, Florida, it is older, the town is older than the state of Florida itself. That's how old it is. But this video, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, is the 11 steps to a K-1 visa. Come on along. Now, most of you know that I'm waiting for my K-1 visa to get adjudicated at the service center in California. And Karina, my prometida, my beautiful Karina, is a resident of Bogota, Colombia, a legal resident. And uh, she is originally from Caracas, Venezuela. So what a big change it will be for her to get to Florida in the United States. But this video is the 11 steps to a K-1 visa. There's a lot of, a lot of people out there they don't know what to do what's the process so I'm gonna simplify it for you guys okay for you guys who don't know what the basic steps are to get started so the first thing you're gonna do mr. sponsor mr. petitioner is you are going to mail a very strong k1 visa package to the lockbox in, Ta in Dallas Texas that is the first thing you're gonna do put together a strong k1 visa package Make sure there's no errors. Make sure you sign the form I-129F. Make sure you included all the photos and you dated the photos. You identified who's in the pictures, where the pictures were taken, etc., etc., etc. That's step one. So step one, mail your K-1 visa package to the lockbox in Dallas. <clears throat> step two, you receive a NOA-1 letter, okay? Usually in about a week. Now the NOA-1 letter is the notice of action that's what NOA stands for, saying that USCIS received your visa package without any errors. And then on this NOA-1 letter, you get a receipt date and you get a, a receipt number. Try not to lose this form. You're going to need the receipt number to keep track of your case. So step number three, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Step number three. You get an NOA 2 letter from USCIS, which is the Notice of Action 2, which either approved your visa, or approved, or approved the package, or, or it, you get an RFE, which is a request for further evidence, or you get a denial. But the second letter you're going to get is called the NOA 2, and it takes about 12 months as of May of 2023. 12 to 13 months to get that approval. Step number four, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you, the petitioner, receive a case number from the MVC. USCIS will mail your K-1 visa package to the National Visa Center in New Hampshire, where the, where the MVC will give you a case number and an invoice ID number, okay? This process takes anywhere from three to four months, as of May of 2023, okay? Step number five, you get a uh, message saying your case is in transit, okay? That means that the MVC has mailed your K-1 visa package to the embassy in your beneficiary's country. Okay, that's that's very important. You keep an eye on your pat on your case status. Step number six, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, your case is ready. So the U.S. Embassy will notify you through an email that your case is ready, or you can track it uh, in your SEAC account, which you set up, which you got directions from the MVC to do. Okay. Step number seven, you submit your DS-160 form. You can start putting your DS-160 form together. I made a video on how to put together a DS-160, how to fill it out, and then you pay your visa fee online, okay, through the SEAC system. There's no fee for the DS-160, but there is a fee for the visa interview, okay? Step number eight, you're gonna schedule the medical exam for your beneficiary, or your beneficiary can do it, and pay the medical doctor the civil surgeon approved by the US Embassy got to pay nothing's free for the medical exam step number uh, nine schedule your visa interview okay do this online <clears throat> for a k-1 visa most of the embassies around the world expect you mr. Scott Mr. sponsor miss beneficiary to schedule your own visa interview okay and then step number ten after the visa interview uh, your beneficiary receives a visa in his or her passport, unexpired passport, unless you're from Venezuela. And then step number 10, 
you schedule your flight to the United States of America, you get on an airplane and join your family in the USA where you get married within 90 days, not 91 days, 90 days or less, and start your lives. Thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Don't forget the live stream on Wednesdays at 5 p.m. Central Time, Saturdays at 7 p.m. Central Time, and Sundays at 11 a.m. Central Time. And uh, stay strong, stay patient. Don't stress this process. It's not hard. And uh, you will be able to be with your family soon. Just be patient. Be patient. Be patient. Thanks for watching. I'll be back.